With the ground operation in Gaza's southern city of Rafah looming, IDF forces continue to deepen their operation throughout the Strip. In southern Gaza's Khan Yunis, the current focal point of the IDF's offensive, Israeli forces raided Hamas sites, captured weapons, and killed dozens of terrorists. In Gaza's so-called central camps, Israeli forces intensified strikes in the areas of Nusirat and Deir el-Balakh, while in the north, forces have renewed intense fighting in the outskirts of Gaza City, calling on residents of two neighborhoods to once again evacuate south to the coastal humanitarian zone. <laughs> As IDF forces zero in on Gaza's border city of Rafah, the Saudi newspaper Elaf reported Israeli authorities have information that suggests Hamas leader in Gaza, Yahya Sinwar, recently fled to Egypt through the tunnels under Rafah, in fear he took Israeli hostages with him. The IDF denied the report, saying it has no information that Sinwar has left the Strip, as it dropped leaflets with recently released images of Sinwar fleeing underground at the beginning of the war. The leaflet raised a question to Gaza residents, asking, is the fate of Sinwal's children more important than the fate of your own? Meanwhile, the IDF also released footage it found in Gaza showing Israeli hostage Shiri Bibas and her two young children, Ariel and Kfir, in Khan Yunis, hours after they were kidnapped from their home in Kibbutz Nir Oz on October 7th. But the video does not reveal anything new about their current condition, further highlighting the uncertainty revolving the fate of the remaining one. 134 hostages. The world must know, and Hamas leaders must know, if by Ramadan hostages are not home, the fighting will continue everywhere to include Rafah area. In the meantime, Hamas leader Ismail Ania arrived in Cairo on Tuesday for talks with Egyptian officials, a sign of a potential breakthrough over a much-anticipated hostage deal.